interesting turn of events here. Red Studs joining Corey Edsel in the booth, and uh, it, it looks like we're going to see Cecil Scott one-on-one -on -one against Crystal Clear. This I, has got to be a dream come true. I, for Cecil Scott, absolutely. This is incredible. Some type of dream. I, yeah. I, the contract had Adonis' name on it. What's going on here? Maybe Adonis didn't make it to the building on time. Maybe you're, you're right. You know, there was a lot of traffic out on Interstate 40 coming in to the Carolina Sportatorium tonight. Everybody wanted to see Fatback Rising too. Uh -oh. oh, I see what's going on. There's Adonis. It's not going to be good for Cecil. Not at all. Oh, God. Big right hand. I guess they never made contact, so it doesn't matter. Come on, boy. You want to One fall. Time limit doesn't matter. Adonis is going to kill him. Cecil Scott. Well, now, is that the. Oh, Leapfrog. Oh, <laughs> Come oh, out on close, paper, guys. on paper, Adonis wins this match handily. But we have seen Cecil weasel his way out of some situations. I got somebody I not to touch, son. Come here. be able to weasel his way out of in the past. You Absolutely. He somebody, had an opportunity you against the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Champion Brass Monkey. Took advantage of it. Did not win, but he survived 15 minutes. Not to mention. Oh, gosh. Wait a minute. This could be bad. Not to mention, Adonis is a big, tough dude. And just the fact that Cecil is still alive right now, after several months of trying to uh, taint Crystal Clear, is an accomplishment in and of itself. If Cecil dies tonight, he can still, he can still feel like he's had a life well lived. Absolutely taint indeed. I like that. Oh. Like, like, like sword. Alex Adonis. Like make impure. Alex Adonis following Cecil Scott to the floor. Cecil decided to take a breather. Uh, he's, he's posing for pictures, too. No, he's going to Crystal. Are he's you sure? To, he's trying to get help. Oh, I see. Come on. Uh, come on. It's kind of like an Elton John song. Oh! Cecil on, Scott. Oh, God. gets leveled. But he's still on his feet. No. Second right hand. Cecil Scott is trying to leave the Carolina. He goes to the bathroom. Oh! What did I tell you? Cecil has a knack for slipping out of what would be certain doom. He baited him hook, line, and sinker on that one. I didn't see that coming. And now the striking hand of Adonis is going to be immobilized. It looks like he is slapping that right hand against everything in the building he can think of. Not only that, that neutralizes the choke slam. Exactly right. Of Adonis. He likes to put away guys with that one too. Cecil Scott did his homework and has brought the thesis for this match with him. Well, you're exactly right. And, and quite frankly, Cecil does seem like one of those guys who spends most of the time in his mom's basement reading about wrestling. So it would make sense that he would be able to put together a strategy against the doctor. I hesitate to use the word stalker, but at this point, I think he's very appropriate. Oh, he's, he's, he needs a home. Adonis does have a reach advantage with those long legs. If I was Adonis at this point, I would probably look to throw left hooks, maybe throw a jab, and hope that he can offset since he's got enough to take advantage of. The swing for daylight with a good hand. Well, you don't want him to swing for daylight because that's what got him in trouble the first time. Good point. He's got to be very careful at this point. Adonis. Side belly to belly suplex. But just barely. I think it was the, the I guess you call the popping motion of the hips that got that suplex. It was not the arm strength. That's right. He barely had it hooked. I think he hooked his left hand around his wrist. That's not enough to get him hook, line, and sinker. But he got it. Cecil Scott, though, obviously back in charge right now. And Cecil has undeniably controlled a lot more of this contest than I would have thought. Cecil Scott bringing up an interesting point. I have never known stopping a hand and putting pressure on the hand as being illegal. Excellent point. Maybe forcing a submission, all 237 pounds of him. Stand on that right hand. Okay, now we may have a situation that we have not seen before. Whoa! Where Adonis cannot defend. Oh, she, she kicked him right in the face. Maybe she doesn't need Adonis' defense. Maybe not. What's wrong with you? Wait a minute. I'd see some sky. I do what I want. I take what I 
don't want, and I want you. We had photographers. That could have been a mistake. Getting out of the way. Got his attention. I am gone. Oh, he throws a big right form. Oh. Again, Cecil Scott luring him in. The swing side bystanders cannot get out of the way fast enough of these two. It was, the, it was coming to the floor last time that cost Adonis. Look out. Come on, gentlemen. Let's go. And it cost him again. I, I can't believe I'm saying this. We're almost 10 minutes in this match. Cecil Scott is in control. And Scott has wrestled a smarter match than Adonis. He's wrestling on sparks, not aggression. Even the fans here at the Carolina Sponsorium were kind of surprised by this. There's a stunned silence in the building. Typically, Adonis is a big crowd favorite, and I feel firmly that he is a crowd favorite tonight, but there's not that enthusiasm behind Adonis that there normally is, because they realize this match is in jeopardy. Big boot! He's going to need to rely on those big boots. Minute. He's going to hook him up. He's going to go for that power bomb. I don't the know if he can get it. He, may get it. he got him. Drilled him with the power bomb. Jackknife, one, two, he got him. But what a fight Cecil Scott has given Adonis tonight.